What's going on guys? Thank you so much for downloading the Collision Theme Pack from 640 Studios. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this thing going and make your streams sick. First off, when you download the zip folder, uh, you're gonna just go ahead and double click on it. That's gonna extract everything from the folder. So once you open this folder, it's going to have all your assets. We have a ton of assets in here for you guys to use, everything from like chats, countdowns, elements, goal bars, panels for your Twitch page, screens, text, video feed, basically you name it, we have it in here. Um, there's a lot of color assets plus white assets, so you can change those actually in the OBS program. I'm gonna show you how to get started. So go ahead and bring an element in. That For this case, we're gonna be using a goal bar. Then you can use text, so go ahead and create a text asset, whether it be your username or somebody else's name. Uh, you'll choose a font, then choose the font size, drag that into the goal bar, and that's basically it to create a goal bar. Uh, but let's add some bells and whistles to this. So let's go into the elements uh, folder. And in the elements folder, there's a ton of cool elements that we've broken down from the themes. So we've got shapes, lines, all that kind of stuff. So in this example, we'll go ahead and bring in a triangle. Um, slide that triangle wherever you want it, scale it to the size you want. Uh, for this example, we'll set it at the top right. And the cool thing about these is you can go ahead and click, right click, choose filter. In the filter, you're going to press color correction. And then in color correction, you can change the color of the assets. Now we've included colored assets for everything in the pack. So you can customize these and make them your own. Uh, for this example, we're going to be trying to match the green of our goal bar. Uh, so you can see here, uh, we've changed the color and now we'll add some more assets. Let's go ahead and add a loading bar. Um, for this, yeah, we'll add this loading bar. We'll scale it down to size. And this is just showing you guys how unique and how cool these things are and how easy it is to create your own uh, versions of these and keep it unique to you. We've added all of these um, assets so you can bring them in individually and build your own um, images basically. So we've added in a line, we've added in a loading bar, we've added a triangle. Here's another line we're gonna bring in. This is just going to um, offset the other line and give us you know, some visual interest. Uh, and then we can bring in like a, like a pulsing plus sign. Uh, there's a lot of these elements um, that are on their own. So you can bring them in, you can multiply them, you can scale them down, you can basically just create your own assets. Uh, then we can group all of this together and once you do that, you can just grab everything as one piece and move it around. And that makes it really easy so you're not moving things on accident. Um, then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and bring in a video feed. Uh, for this example, we don't have video to bring in, but we'll just show you that you can put your video into this feed and then drag the username that we created in the goal bar underneath it to create a video feed and a goal bar right underneath. That looks awesome. Now we'll go ahead and we'll bring in a screen and a background. So we have a ton of these pre-made backgrounds and we also have all the assets so you can make them your own. Um, as you can see here, just bringing that in kind of just brings everything together and it's like a really cool theme that you can use. Um, here, we'll go ahead and make a stream starting soon. So we're bringing in a countdown. The next thing, let's go ahead and bring in some text that says stream starting. So when we pull that stream starting in, uh, we'll go ahead and place it. We can scale it to whatever size we want. And then, you know, the color's a bit off. So we're gonna go ahead and change the color to make it match the green. So once again, to do that, go to filters. Inside filters, go to color correction. Once you're in color correction, change the hue shift. Boom. So once we get close, you can look and see um, if the colors are matching or not. Go ahead and adjust, you know, just you can really get uh, intricate in here. There's like brightness, saturation, all that stuff. And as you can see, we created a super unique, really cool theme for our Twitch feed in about a minute. Next, let's go ahead and bring in another background. This time we're gonna use the blue one. Um, we'll go ahead and bring in a uh, text uh, stream starting. Um, this is the other version of the stream starting we have. It's a really cool techy kind of uh, like typing out glitchy font. Um, after that, we'll go ahead and bring in a, another element. This one is going to be a, um, what do you call, a loading bar. 
when we click in the loading bars, we have color and we also have white. Now, the reason that we have this is so that uh, you can change the actual color of all these elements. So with the white, you can't actually change the hue, but we wanted to give you white to start out with. And then we also give you the same exact assets in a color version. And once there's a color version, you can go in and right click on the asset, go to filters. Once you're in filters, click on the plus sign. That's gonna bring you to the effects. Click on it and click color correction. Now color correction is gonna give you all that flexibility to change the colors to match your scene. Once you're in here, once again, you have all these options to adjust and change uh, the color of the aspects. Uh, so here we have, you know, you can make it pink. You can slide this over to the side and see what it's actually doing in real time. Uh, for this example, we're gonna wanna match our background, make our theme a little bit more cohesive. So we'll choose the blue and we'll click done. And now you can really see how unique these can be and how much of an asset it can be and speed up your workflow inside OBS. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is show you guys the chat boxes. There's four really cool chat boxes. Once again, you can change all the colors of these. Uh, these match all the themes inside of uh, the pack. Um, so there's four of these, really cool. Now, one other thing I wanna show you is that you can rotate all of our assets. If you right click, Go to transform, inside transform is gonna be all the rotate tools. So if you have an asset that you need to be going up or down or left or right, you could basically go in and change any of our assets to rotate, scale, and also change the colors to make everything unique in yours. Now, let's go into panels. Inside your channel on your Twitch, there's going to be an edit panels button at the bottom of the uh, screen. When you go inside here, you're gonna click plus and then add text or image panel. Uh, then you're gonna add an image and then you go into the panels folder of our pack where we have four versions of panels to keep all of your feeds cohesive. Uh, we've also created uh, every single color for each of the panels uh, so that you guys have everything to, that you need to make these unique uh, to your Twitch feeds. Uh, they will match all of our assets inside the pack. And as you can see, once you put it on your feed, um, there it is, boom. And so now that will match whatever you're streaming or whatever assets you have uh, in your video feed. Just a really cool thing. There's a ton of these that you can use. They're already pre-made, ready to go. And yeah, thank you guys so much for purchasing the pack. Once again, I can't wait to see what you guys do with all these really cool assets. And don't forget, follow us on Instagram at 640studio. Thanks, guys.